Hello lovely YouTube viewers. I have been MIA for a long time now, but um I'm back. Ah! One thing I like to use this for is for my eyelashes. Um about two months ago I went up to uh, the cabin that my parents have and I opened one of the stoves and it, it I opened it at the same time that the gas came out and what happened was like this whole like part all of my eyelashes here just like fell out completely like just burned off like I had no eyelashes for like two weeks and I was just like oh my god I have no eyelashes it looks so weird my face looked so weird and I wanted to like wear false eyelashes but I didn't have any eyelashes I could glue them onto so it was really awkward one of those beauty fashion emergencies and um, what I did was I would just use petroleum jelly and I would just every night just you know kind of smear it across the top and then just kind of touch the ends and a little bit on the undersides and it really made them grow out and grow thick and grow really shiny and I was so excited um, I also realized that because I use mascara like every day it had the mascara because of its formulation it tends to dry out your lashes and using Vaseline makes them very soft and very full so what I do is every night I apply a little bit with my finger and when I wake up in the morning, I wash my face. I always wash my face because at night all the impurities come out. You wash your face and it all goes down the drain. So it's really, really nice. And that takes care of getting rid of the petroleum jelly off your face as well. But I have... I always put my foundation in like a itty bitty little container because I use a little bit of it as a lip color canceling product. Um, I know that Sephora sells like three or four different kinds and instead of spending like $30 on a product, I mean you could just use a little bit of your foundation, put it on, just dab it on, and the color will be the same color as your skin obviously. Then whatever color you put on, you put on a lipstick, you put on a gloss, the color will stay um, natural and more true to the color that you put on. So if you put like you know like this light nude color it'll actually come out because like my lips are really really like red pink so that's all you see if I just put the nude on but if I put my foundation over it then I put the color the, the lip gloss then you see that nude color come out more so that's like a really inexpensive way to kind of like showcase the color self tanner on your face this one is uh, Jergens and I really like this one because instead of making you look orange it gives you like this glow this like little bit of a tan it's not very like whoa in your face oh my god that person looks orange I hate when people look orange like that's a little too much like seriously did you like bathe yourself in this yeah no I don't like that um this is really cool what you have to remember with products like this is you need to avoid certain areas. For example, this is just something I do, you know, you gotta do this according to your own skin and all that stuff. When I put it on, like I put it on everywhere, but I avoid like the sides of my nose, like right, right in here, and I avoid my under eyes. Because I want this to be lighter and this part to be lighter than the rest of my face. Because those are areas that I have red or those are areas where I want to be brighter. And if you use your self tanner to make everything else darker, they naturally look lighter. Which basically means you get more of this natural look and you're going to be wearing less um, like concealer under your eye. Because this is all a little bit darker than this part right here so that's like a really easy way because in the summer I don't like to wear too much makeup and so using just the self tanner to do that so I don't have to wear concealer in certain places my um, next tip is to avoid using products that break you out uh, we've all like experienced using a product that you either get zits or you get those like deep zits the ones that like really really hurt or you get those like little 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 ones and I'm just like oh my god what happened why am I breaking out I rarely ever have that why am I breaking out now um, some culprits of that don't get mad at me I'm just gonna be honest here oh Mac and more Mac Mac always makes me break out so I've stopped using Mac foundation I've just given it up if it makes you break out 
It's not the right formula. I don't care if it makes my face look flawless. It just kills it. And then two days later, I break out and I look terrible. So I don't want to do that anymore. So I've just, I've given up on that. Next thing is using your brushes. You've got to wash your brushes. If you don't wash your brushes, you're just putting all that bacteria back on your face. That's right. So those zits you get, those are because you did not wash your brush. So, of course, what do you do about that? You get a little brush cleaner. This one came with the Bare Mineral set. It's pretty good. Um, you can also use baby shampoo. You can use, like, your shampoo. Um, I Sometimes I use... Um, my makeup take the day off makeup remover cleanser from Clinique that's really gentle and I really like using that but they sell all different kinds of brush shampoo and you can pick one up this one's like $14 or something like that but it goes forever because it's huge it's big it's bigger than my face um, so that's really helpful because you are using this over and over again another thing um, if you have really really oily skin I would suggest using a sponge see I've used this one and then once you're done toss it out and get a new one because now all that oil is on there and now you don't keep putting the same um, you know bacteria back on your face like okay alright let's get a new sit going no just after you use it throw it away and whenever I do makeup professionally on people I use sponges I don't use brushes unless it's really necessary if I'm doing something with the eyes, then I'll use brushes, but for foundation, I tend to use sponges because every model has different skin tones and different textures, and really to get in there and do the whole flawless face, I'd rather use this and not, you know, rely on the issues that brushes sometimes do cause. Uh, another thing is a lot of times we're using our hands. Your hands are the best tools that you could ever use many times to apply eyeshadow or to kind of get in there or to smooth things out. I know a lot of people use their hands to put foundation on. You do want to have a hand sanitizer when you do that. You want to squirt some out, rub some all over your hands, let it dry a little bit. Ooh, let it dry a little bit. You know, um, I actually keep one, a small one in my purse all the time just because I like you know to have my hands clean but also if I'm gonna apply some makeup or I want to like touch my eye area I definitely want to make sure my hands are like clean uh, I can't stress that enough a lot of people get pink eye or uh, conjunctivitis because they have dirty hands and then they touch their hands and then they get you know this like infected terrible looking eye don't do it just wash your hands um, and this one I had like a whole video on and um, is the use of primers. Priming the face before actually applying makeup makes the world of a difference. Um, every time you look at a magazine and you see a girl and her face just looks amazing and you're like, wow, like my foundation is the right color but I can never get it to be as smooth as that. <clears throat> That's because she's wearing a primer. She's wearing a really good primer. So. I have a video on all the different primers. This is a really, really famous one. This is the Smashbox. Then we have the Fix and Perfect by um, Ramel. Then there's the, <clears throat> and I love this one, wow, Revlon Age Defying. And another one I love is the Sally Hansen Airbrush. This is so easy to use. I could teach, you know, a five-year-old to use this one. Just an amazing, amazing product. Now, these are optional. So if you don't use something like that, then I do suggest that you use a regular lotion or something meant specifically for the face, like philosophy, um, <clears throat> and just use the lotion all over your face. Give it like two seconds to soak in and then put the foundation on top because that creates like that even flawless finish. And I can't stress enough how ever you know people come up to me and they ask me like how do you get it to be so even like how do you get it so that no one can tell you're really wearing makeup it's because you're wearing a really good base so those are my five tips and tricks I hope you enjoyed this video I hope um, that if you have any beauty suggestions or uh, you have a tip that you'd like to share with me, definitely do so. I read everything you guys send me and I'm really excited because I've made lots of really good friends on, you know, doing these YouTube videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. Mwah. Bye.